Every behavior has a surface level craving and a deeper underlying motive. Finished reading and my wrist feels a lot better today so I'm going to be hitting the gym and I'll probably see you at the gym. If you haven't already, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button right now. I just finished my workout. It is now 9.06 a.m. And it was my first workout at the gym in like three weeks because I had COVID for one week. I had one day which I wasn't sick. I went to go boxing, came home, had the most nasty cold for another week. Then the week after that, I, which was last week, I had a wedding. I hadn't been in the gym in two weeks. I didn't want to be sore for the wedding. So yeah, this is my first workout in three weeks after being consistent since February, like every single day. My shoulders are really feeling it. My lats are feeling it because it's a full body day. My legs are feeling it. Like everything's feeling it. But when I get home, I will shower, I will eat and have my protein shake. And then after those two things are done, I'll give you a quick update on the Facebook Marketplace listings. And then I will also contact more agents to get more Facebook Marketplace listings. I'll see you guys after I'm done my protein shake. I have contacted seven-ish agents and three of them allowed me to post their places on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna have three more places one is for 3.95, one is for 3.8, and one is for 2.89. And that's $2.89,000 a month, their rentals. It is now 5 p.m. and I'm checking the listings and I see that they're getting some traction. I have six messages to respond to. I'll show you guys right now. As you guys can see right there, six chats to answer. We'll go over here. See, we have all the listings here. Um, 41 clicks, 38 clicks, 36 clicks, 38 clicks, 32 clicks. We have five of them up right now. Obviously, the cheaper one has the most clicks because you know it's a cheaper one, more people are seeing it. It's a thousand dollars less than the other one, so it makes sense. But I have two messages for this place and four messages for this place. So it looks like um, these three I posted today, these two I posted uh, yesterday. And it looks like the ones I posted today are doing much better, but you know, it's expected because these three are much cheaper than these two. And I'd rather have people do these two, but obviously I'll take anything. Well, I have a template of messages that I send to these people and I'm just gonna send these templates to these people right now. I'm going to ask them some very, very simple questions. That'll gauge how serious they actually are because obviously no one wants to waste their time, especially with leases if there's no paperwork in order beforehand because if there's no paperwork beforehand, remember this, especially for leases or pretty much for everything in the market, if there's no paperwork beforehand, it is a waste of time. Make sure you have their credit score, their income, all this, everything you need, all the employment information, employer information, everything. And once you are 100% sure and they're 100% sure that they want to go through with this, then you can get the rental application signed and get everything ready. And then you can start looking at doing showings. Just thought I'll take this time to actually tell you what I'm saying to these people. So the first thing I would say, they'll probably ask, is it available? And I'll say, yes, it is available. And then I'll ask, are you working with the realtor? To which they reply no if they reply yes you leave them alone if they reply no then you can help them and i would write something like there's quick tur turnaround in the rental market places are getting lots of offers well it depends for you but in my area in toronto the rental market is insane so i'm just saying there's a lot of turnaround the rental market places are going super fast they're getting so many offers so it's important that you have a realtor and then I would say I'm more than happy to help you as long as you can answer some simple questions just to make sure you're serious about getting a place. And then they'll say yes, okay. Or they'll say no. If they say no, okay, bye, don't care. If they say yes, just ask your questions. I ask, what are you looking for? And then I'll list things like area, bedrooms, bathrooms, and I add more. You guys can add wherever you want. And then I will take them to an email. And on the email, like once they've already agreed to me helping them, I'll send them an email after getting their email of course on the email is pretty much just asking for everything that you need from them of course try to get their number as well so you can actually get a hold of them because not everyone checks their email so you can also do this over text but it's just to get everything you need like credit score and you know employment information and income statements and all that beautiful stuff i'm just trying to keep these videos as short as possible as value packed as possible just to make sure that people actually watch throughout the video because looking at the other videos looking at the average view duration and things like that i can see that people clearly get bored and i don't blame you like obviously for me watching back on these vlogs for me it's entertaining but obviously just thinking about it if it was some random guy i was watching i would not be entertained so i'm gonna try to make them much much shorter much more jam-packed with value uh, you know more quicker cuts and stuff like that just to make sure that you don't get bored but yeah that's all for now i'm probably gonna eat my dinner edit this video 
and go to sleep but if anything else comes up i'll be sure to come back on here okay everyone we have one more update for the facebook lease postings i just got a message from one of them but i got seven responses all of them said they're not using a realtor but i've had two very serious conversations with people that are very very serious they have all their stuff ready but their credit scores and things like that are not the best or just the situation they're in is not the best so they might not be the best clients to go after and the thing is today's the, pretty much the first day i've had responses and i got seven of them so what i'm thinking is i'll look over the information if it seems just way too hard to find them a place then it's not gonna be worth it for me then i'm just not going to do it just because i know that there'll be so many more potential clients in the future okay everyone i'm gonna do some end of day updates i'll put all the stats over here on the side so over here we have the facebook marketplace listings we have 264 clicks we have seven people who have reached out and we have two people that are ready to give all the documents for this youtube channel we hit 100 subscribers which i'm so happy for thank you guys so much we hit 100 subscribers and that means we're up like three or four subscribers today i'm super grateful for that thank you once again guys in terms of the other youtube channel that i have strictly for real estate production that i still haven't told anyone about and i doubt people actually watched the end of the last video to actually find out about the account uh it has one subscriber which is me still and it ha the one short i posted has 11 views and two likes this is still expected like i said shorts usually take a couple of days to gain traction but there's absolutely no worry no rush i'm honestly just gonna post a bunch of shorts i'm gonna book a bunch of really really nice showings and these are gonna bang views you guys probably noticed that this is going to be a much shorter vlog and that is done intentionally i'm gonna get better and better at making the vlog shorter and shorter so they're just compact with nothing but value obviously you guys don't need to see me making breakfast you guys don't need to see me making lunch you guys don't need to see me making dinner you guys don't need to see me driving to boxing there's a lot of extra things that i keep adding in here so i'm gonna try to cut those out and keep it strict just the value driven points so that way you guys can still see the day in the life but at the same time i'm not wasting your time and you can watch the video much faster and a lot of people will actually stick around to the end of the video meaning that youtube will see that and be like hey hang on a second this guy's doing something special with these videos and then more people will start watching the videos as the youtube videos get pushed out by the youtube algorithm anyways that is it for the day thank you all so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button right now we are on the road to take over the real estate space we are going for ryan's turn i don't know how many millions of subscribers he has but we are going to beat him but right now the next goal is 150 subscribers we are at 100 so go down below and smash the subscribe button thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day